I can't do it today. Mom, can I call you back later? Mom, I'm really busy right now, and I've got stuff to do. Okay, Mom. I'm sorry, but I have to get to work. Yes, I'll see you on the weekend. Okay, bye. Let's go. Where's the ruby ring? It's at the jeweler's for repair. The stone was getting loose. How are you doing, Olya? I'm fine, thank you. I'm doing well. How are you? Oh, Anna. That's not true. I feel terrible. I didn't get any sleep You know last what, night. honey? Why don't you go ahead? I'll catch up, okay? It was nice to see you, Olya. You too. Anna. What do you think you're doing here? We already spoke on the phone. I told you I'm busy. Anna. I know you all too well. When Valeria told me the news, I was so worried, so I called you. Mom! But I knew you would blow me off, so you gave me no choice but to come here. And what for? To feel sorry for me? Your pity is the last thing I need. Listen to me, Anna. I beg you not to worry. I'm here to help you. I'm your mother. And I would never let you suffer alone. Here, look. I've collected this for you. Here. Are you kidding me right now? Do you even know how much money we're talking about here? One lifetime wouldn't be enough to even make up half of the money I need. So take your money and go. If you really wanted to help me, you'd stop wasting my time. You can help me by leaving me alone. Petro wants to make his signature kebab dish. I should have all the spices he needs here. And he didn't mention we needed anything special. Listen to this. Only the best for our one and only Petro. You've changed your tune since yesterday. Oh, oh. <laughs> you had it coming. I don't need that man. I'm just making sure none of you go hungry. Mm-hmm, yes, of course. You know you two make such a great couple. What do you mean? They hardly know each other at this point. Listen here. Petro is a gossip, and I don't want to discuss him anymore. I'd be careful about what you say. And who are you to judge? Petro's actually a very good man. Say what you like, but any lady who has him would be very lucky. Since he started with us, we've almost doubled our numbers. Ah, yes, I've been so counting. all thanks to him. <laughs> Liuba, you know very well that Petro is a good cook. After he finished his studies, any restaurant would be happy to have him in the kitchen. By the way, he's waiting downstairs. Are you all ready to go? Grab that, would you? Grab what? Ah, uh, the thermos. Hey, Mom. Were you able to talk to Anna? Yes, my dear. I spoke to her. Everyone make way for that strong lady. Cut it out, Pavarotti. Instead of serenading me with your so-called singing, help me with the bags. Why don't you need my help? Do you? Why are you strong as a... As a what? As a horse. <laughs> what did you say? Luba. A horse? 
Luba! Oh god! I knew it, Luba! Luba! You know I was just kidding, right? Luba! It's always like this with you. I want to have a normal conversation and you always find a way to piss me off. Luba, can we start over, please? Believe it or not, I'd like us to be friends. Really? Really? It's just that I like you very much. I... I don't want you to get upset at me. In fact, I want... I want... I want to... I guess this is how fate would have it. Hey. Where is everybody? Is the picnic cancelled? Pedro! Hey. Hey, lend me a hand. Hello. Oh. <laughs> Everyone excited? I hope you packed your sense of adventure, uh, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's in the bag, too. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Be careful with that. We don't want the sense of adventure to fall out. <laughs> Get in the car. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, okay. How are you feeling? I'm fine. I told you it will heal in no time. Do you even know how much money we're talking about here? One lifetime wouldn't be enough to even make up half of the money I need. If you really wanted to help me, you'd stop wasting my time. You can help me by leaving me alone. Mother, why don't you ask Anna and Dennis if they'd like to join us? Anna said she was very busy today. She doesn't have to come right this minute. She might have time later in the day or something. Thank you for agreeing to come to our show. It's a great honor for us. We're very excited. Nazar, have you sent the photos to my email? In a minute. Don't worry. Take a look at them and tell me which ones you like best. Do you want to order bricks for your son's house too? Mm-hmm. Great. Let's discuss it after we go on air. Thank you. I'll see you soon. So? He agreed to do it. Imagine we're featuring our Senya Hrozovsky. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Anna, can I just double check with you? Of our customers with accounts below the order threshold, which ones did you invite to come for the behind the scenes? I can't really remember. Could you show me the list? Honey, your phone has been ringing in the other room. Your mother wants to speak with you. Yes, yes, I'll call her back later. Um, she's busy right now. You want to leave a message? I doubt it. She's got meetings all day today. I'd love to join you. Okay, thank you. Anna, do you need me? If you're not against it, I'll go to the picnic with your family. Or maybe I... Dennis, why don't you go? We'll manage without you for a day. I think the director of the company can take an afternoon off. Just keep your phone on, okay? Oh yes, of course. Anna, is that all right with you? Maybe you'll be able to join us in the evening when you finish. Yes, fine, sure. <sighs> okay, where are you right now? Mm -hmm. Huh? Look. I don't know why we don't come here every week. Why sit in a chair indoors when you can be out here? Mm-hmm. I'll remind you that you said that the next time you're glued to your phone. Andre, let's put up the tent by the tree. Take it easy, Petro. Why don't you sit down and leave the stuff to me? Okay, buddy? 
<laughs> Why do you say that? <laughs> say what? I don't know who you think you're talking to here. You'd be surprised to know I recently won in arm wrestling. Arm wrestling? Yep. <laughs> Against the ladies? <laughs> <laughs> you think it's funny now, huh? <laughs> I beat people like you with my left hand. Left? Yeah. <laughs> okay, then. Let's put it to the test. Let's make it interesting. The loser will breathe the firewood. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Bring it. <laughs> Come on, champion. Okay. Are you ready? <laughs> and go! Petro, come, come on. on. Oh. Just a little bit more. <laughs> come on, do it. You can do it. Can do it. I don't know. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, oh. I told you so. Oh. <laughs> I knew that you would win over him. You are... What? Come keep me company? Sure. I didn't say anything. What were you going to say? Nothing. I don't know. Well, where are you going? To go get the firewood. <laughs> Let's get this going. <laughs> Why did you let him win? Was it that obvious? Andri. What are you doing sticking around with a girl like me? A girl like what? A beautiful one? You know what I mean. I've treated you so badly in the past. You're honestly better off without me. Don't worry. It's all in the past. <sighs> A past I can't even remember. I can't remember a single thing. I can't even remember if I really loved you. I'm just left with what? I can't tell if it's pity or love. <laughs> It's not for me to know if you feel positively about me. Oh, I thought I'd never find you out here. Hi. I was this close to turning on my GPS out Hello, here. Hello, Dennis. Where's Anna? She's preparing for tomorrow's show. It's almost impossible mm. to take her away from her desk. I don't think I've been on a picnic since I was a kid. Stop talking and eat. Have you ever had kebabs like this before? Let me tell you the recipe. You need... You need lots of salt. And onions. Uh, yeah, right, onions. Here, have some of this. Try it. Next time we go out, I'll treat you all to dinner. Something different, like Mexican food. It doesn't matter what food we eat. What's important is that we're all together. Speaking of which, what time should we be expecting Anna? You know her. It's been impossible to take her away from work. She could use a day like this. The only thing missing from a day like this is a little music. Liuba, be a dear and get me my guitar. Thank you. Бувай, бувай, я обійму тебе в останній раз. І прощавай, бувай, бувай, думкам тужливим душу не віддавай. Твій потяг, твій потяг, твій потяг. Залишить мій перон, і я один на світі, а на душі моїй порожньо. Це наче сон, твій потяг. Зоріана, did you bring those wet wipes like I asked you? No, I thought you said that you would pack them. I'll bring the water so that everybody can wash their hands. Let me go with you.
Anna must be feeling bad now. I can imagine how hard she is on herself for that mistake. Yes, the Romanians were important clients to us. But it's not the end of the world. We'll make up for it somehow. <laughs> it's good that you're so understanding when it comes to these things. Anna is lucky to have a husband like you. I'm lucky too. You don't know how lucky you are. Your family is so friendly. Anna is also very lucky to have a sister. A sister who looks after her so much. It's great. <laughs> I'd like to do something to help Anna. Don't worry, everything will be all right. What is wrong? Do you have a headache? I think I remembered something, but I don't know what it is. Calm down. Everything is fine. Can you walk on your own? Mm-hmm. Take my hand. Let's go. What are you thinking about? You? And? What is it? Don't plan anything for the evening. I'll... I'll pick you up after work. We can go do something. Okay? Okay? Oh! <laughs> uh. In here. Hurry up faster. Maybe we shouldn't. There are people around. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Can you explain what you're doing in our tent? Good morning. Don't you think they're getting a little too close? <laughs> Dennis, I must say you've changed my mind. I always used to think that you businessmen were so stuck up and you thought so highly of yourselves. But after the day, I'm mistaken. You're not a bad guy after all, huh? <laughs> what do you think? We better cook them something for dinner. Look at them. They'll be full of chips after too long. <laughs> Let me get something started. Well, I'm glad you made it. What is going on here? Dennis, it's time to go home. We're just having a drink. Honey, it's been a really long day for me. I've just spent 12 hours in the office. And where have you been? You smell of smoke. We went to eat kebabs. Yes. We were waiting for you there. I told you we were invited to a picnic. Did you forget? You yourself told me to go. I must have forgotten all about it. Honey, why don't we just go home? I'm very tired. You better listen to her, Dennis. If she's this upset when she's tired, I'm scared to imagine what she's like when she doesn't have enough sleep. I guess it's time to go. It's late and Anna... Could use some rest. It's been a great day. 
Thank you, Olya. You're welcome. <laughs> I really needed a day like that. Mm -hmm. I'll get going now. Bye. The next time we get together, it's on me. <laughs> Bye. Let's go, honey. Mm -mm. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Maybe he got a flat tire? Mm, he could have called. Anything could have happened. Remember how you ended up at the police station the last time and left your phones in the car? But he was with me then. <laughs> Here he is. Luba, how are you? Oh. Why are you so dressed up? Why am I dressed up? You want to know why I'm so dressed up? Liba, will you listen? And Dennis and Andre and I got to talking, and then one thing led to another, and... You could have refused. Liba! You could have said you had someone important to meet tonight. Liba! Mm, you... Stop you it, and Liba. your excuses. <laughs> I don't want to hear it anymore. Uh, stop mm, it! I'll show stop you. Stop up, Liba. You. All right, I surrender. Mm. Uh, 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 surrender. <laughs> stop it. Uh, Liba. It is charming. What is? The way you smile. I love it when you smile. Penny for your thoughts? I had a really great time today. It was nice spending time with everyone. I really enjoyed myself. That's good. I'm glad to hear that. What was good about it? Everything. Just everything. What about Dennis? Do you like him? Dennis? He's a nice guy. Luba! Come here. Hold the rod, will you? I don't want to. You're cold. Sorry. Just wait a second. I really hate fishing. Here, this will warm you up. Oh. Mm. Oh. It's really hot. Well, I added some cinnamon for you and sugar. And how do you like it? I like it. Uh, oh. Do you hear that? You hear that? It's biting. Here. Here. Hey. Well, tell me, how was it? Terrible. It was terrible. Really? Uh-huh. Do you know where he took me? Fishing. He took me fishing. And I hate fishing. You're kidding. And? Nothing. We caught about a kilo of fish and he is as happy as a puppy. I spent the night freezing my butt off while being eaten by mosquitoes. Oh, uh, that's really too bad. You're telling me. I thought he would take you to his place. And that makes two of us. Oh. I really don't understand Petro. He says that he wants to get closer. But he doesn't invite me to his place. Do you think that he's actually married? Liuba, stop it. You can tell a bachelor when you see one. Maybe his apartment is small. Or a real mess. He might be embarrassed. So... 
Today's the first day of Anna's new show. I've been a nervous wreck all day. I'm here to keep myself distracted. Here, let me cut those up. And me? I don't know. Why don't you start on the onions? Okay, then. Okay, make sure the tiles aren't broken. If something breaks, replace it, okay? Uh -huh. Everything has to be perfect. I need everything right. to go well. Yes. Ready? Almost. Uh... Has anyone seen Alina? It's almost time to start the final rehearsal. Are they in the makeup room? I was there a second ago and they weren't there. What did I just say? Call her at once! I've been calling her since this morning. She doesn't answer. Hello? Yes, I got it. That was Alina. She's in the hospital. She broke her arm this morning and she's in the ER. Crap. Anna, maybe this is your chance. You should take it. You always said you wanted to be on TV. What do you think? Is it starting soon? In a couple of minutes. What are we waiting for? The news, the soap opera, or a show? My third guess was correct. Pull up a chair. It's not just any show, but the one our Anna created. Is... is there anything Anna can't do? It's just the beginning. There will be more, and if this one goes well, it will continue. Cool. Our Anna made a TV show. What an amazing woman she is. She's an actress now. Next thing we know, she'll be getting awards for this. Maybe an Emmy or something. I can see her now, getting ready for the big red carpet event. Designers will fight over her. She'll be the most amazing dress where all the paparazzi will be screaming her name. All the papers will want to know what she's wearing. Then she'll be invited by the president to his home. Jana, if you don't shut up, you'll be ironing linens in your room. Be quiet. everyone and welcome to my fortress. I am your host Anna Dobrovolsky. Let's get started. Here on our show, we'd like to look inside the homes of the countries rich and famous through our exclusive interviews only on our show. Let us transport you from your living rooms to the living rooms of the people you admire. And not just that, we will be showing you how you can recreate the interiors that you see today right down to the detail. And for our show's premiere, we've invited famous actor Arseny Rosovsky. Arseny, people want to know, what is home for you? For me, my home is... Home is my sanctuary. Dennis, just look at her on cam. My home has the most beautiful interior, to be honest. And if you ask me, I think it's one of the most beautiful homes you'll ever see on television. We actually had a fireplace shipped stone by stone from Italy. That's amazing. Please tell us more about it. It's made out of specialized silicate bricks, a material you don't see often in interiors. She's hosting the show herself. God, Anna is so beautiful. And she's so talented. She looks like a real star. There is no warmer place in the whole wide world. I'll take your word for it. You're inspiring everyone to build a home of their own. Valeria, I thought you said Alina would be hosting. Hmm? Mm, yes, but this is live TV. Maybe something changed. Hey, goodness sake, I can't hear over your talking. Would you keep quiet? Why don't we give our viewers a quick peek with our short clip? Yes, of course. Please do. This is incredible. This is the bathroom with the tiles. <laughs> this is incredible. This is great promotion for the work we do. The decorative stones from our partner look so nice. Before we show you the rest of the home, here is a quick word from our sponsors. See you when we get back. I think congratulations are in order. I think the show will be a hit. 
The ratings will be the judge of that. Right, but I think we can order a bottle of champagne soon. Don't get me wrong, the show could use a little work, a little polishing up, but in general it's good. And our host over there, she's done really well. Anna really is so talented. She was born to be a star. How do you like the show, Mr. Director? Not bad. But not entirely good either. Oh yeah? What needs work? I think there are too many ads. The products are so in your face, the audience may lose interest. I think we need to invite more stars. What stars? Do you have anyone specific in mind? Well then, I hope you'll think of something for the next episode. Since you think you know what the show needs, show me what you've got. Yes? Dennis, do you have a minute? Don't worry, this is going to be good news. Thanks to the show, we now have the phones ringing off the hook with buyers. That's great. I wish we could sell the goods that the Romanians refused to buy. I honestly don't think it will be long now. Everybody in Chikasi now wants to have the same house as Arseny Rozovsky. We've done all the work now. Now we just sit back and wait. Maybe we'll even recover. Who knows? Darina, can you please ask Anna to come see me at once? Brother. Why, hello there, sister. We finally have a reason to celebrate. Thanks to our new little show, we now seem to be booking clients left and right. Great. But that's not the only reason to celebrate. We have sky-high ratings, thanks to your wife, by the way. I'm telling you, Dennis, this lady was made for TV. Just a second, I asked her to come. I've got a phone call for the woman of the hour. It's Dennis. <laughs> Hello, honey. Hi, honey. I can't tell you all the wonderful calls I've been getting. Friends, family, and colleagues have been calling to say congratulations, and even better, people want to buy our products. And this is all thanks to you. Everyone loved the show's concept. They said that they would tune in for future episodes. They're all very excited. Is that true? <laughs> I'm very happy. Thanks. I love you too. See you later, love. Congratulations. I knew you'd make the perfect host for a show like this. Thank you so much for trusting me to do it. Well, shall we talk about the next episode? I'd gladly continue to host the show. You know I would love to, but... I was just told before coming in there that you hired a new director. Yes, Andrei Popovich. If he's going to be in charge of the project... I'm gonna have to pass. I don't want to work with him. <sighs> I'm not going to lie to you. That wasn't the reaction I was expecting. Andri really is the best in the business. That could be true, but... Him and I just don't see eye to eye. I'm telling you, we wouldn't work well together. What don't you see eye to eye on? Anna. When it comes to business, there's no room for all of these emotions. You may feel this way now, but you might regret this decision later. I assure you, Andri is a professional. With you and him on the project, I can see us bringing this show to the next level. Think about the possibilities. I'll manage without him. Don't be so confident. We only showed one episode, not even a season. Audiences demand a certain level of quality, and we can't provide it without a talented director. Got it. I understand. Do you mind if I go now? Go ahead. Yana, where is Andri? I don't know, I didn't see him. Congratulations on the show, you're a real star. Did you have any doubts? Of course I didn't. What's happened? I thought you'd be in a great mood. And what about those outfits? The clothes you gave us were embarrassing. Look at that orange dress. As soon as the light hit it, you could see all the wrinkles in the back. 
What did you expect? That I'd be kissing your feet? This better not happen again, or I'm going to have you replaced. Now get out of here and do better next time. I'll try harder. Sorry. Who gave you the right to talk to her that way? You'll see. If we're going to work together, I'm going to make this hell for you. <laughs> you will curse the day you said yes to taking this on. Just wait and see. I'm going to do everything I can to get rid of you. There's no way you're working on my show. You didn't hire me. So you can't fire me. Oh, I won't fire you. It's you who will be crawling to Carolina, begging her to take you off this project. In your dreams? If it's war you want, it's war you're gonna get. Don't forget that you started this. Challenge accepted, now get ready. What is it? Hello? Anna, my darling! I finally reached my TV star daughter. <laughs> Congratulations! Everyone in the restaurant tuned in to see the show. Thanks, Mom. As you can see, you had nothing to worry about. I corrected all my mistakes myself. The City Cat Bud will be thanking me now, because they have never dreamed of having so many clients, all thanks to my show. Yes, my dear. I couldn't be happier for you. Please send Anna my love. And for me, for too. For me, too. Anna, why don't you come over to the restaurant to celebrate? You can bring Dennis with you and everything. Mom, have you forgotten? I'm a Dobrovolsky now, not a Matvienko anymore. If I'm going to celebrate with any family, it will be the one I go home to. Sorry, it's time for me to run. What's happened? She's great. Anna has basically saved Silly Catput. Hooray, 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 hooray. Congratulations, proud mama. Oh, yeah. What's the matter? It's pride. I'm fine. Fresh flowers. Oh. <laughs> For our TV star. Did you cut all of them? Oh, it doesn't matter. They bloomed on the day of Anna's premiere. Isn't that symbolic? Darling, these are for you. Thank you, Mom. Frankly, I really owe all my success to you. Actually, to the entire family of the Dobrovolskys. I wouldn't have been able to do it without your support. Mm -hmm. Aren't I lucky? I have an amazing daughter-in-law. You had us sitting on the edge of our seats for a minute there. But you turned it all around. The show will bring Silicat Bud from the brink of the crisis to the best years we'll ever see. <laughs> <laughs> huh? What? Well, what are we waiting for? Someone pop the champagne. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, you know what? I've given it some thought. What if we give our entire marketing budget for other factory promotions? You could look after that, can't you? Yes, I think you can. Dad, will she even have time for that? <sighs> if you're confident I can do it, then I'll make sure to make time for all of it. Well, a toast to Anna. <laughs> <laughs> to Anna. Here's to you, my darling wife. Thank you. Oh, wow. And what is this about? We just wanted to show you our appreciation. Not only you, but your talented daughters, too. Mm -hmm. Together they uh, put on such an amazing show. And brought a big enterprise out of the red and toward success. <laughs> oh, you guys. Bring it in here. <laughs> mm. I love you so much. Petro? <laughs> Come on. We need to add a paragraph about the 30% payment in arrears. Come in. Did you call me in? Yes, Anna. You won't believe it. The Romanians came back. Yes. The Romanian partner wants to reinstate our contract thanks to the show. How did they find out about it? 
I sent them a link to our episode after it aired. You're a genius. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Uh, have you told your father about the Romanians? Of course, I called him as soon as I got the news. He asked me to tell you that he is extremely grateful. <laughs> However, he didn't like the idea of you coming back to the business development department. I understand him completely. That being said, though, to show you his appreciation, you are now promoted to the position of brand manager. From this day forward, you will now handle all the ad campaigns of the Silicat Bud. Congratulations. Are you serious? You're not kidding? Oh, oh thank you! <laughs> I mean, thank you, Mr. Rihorovich. I won't let you down. I know you won't. Good luck, and we look forward to working with you. Uh, uh what about the show? Is it alright if I continue to host the productions? The show is impossible without you. Now go celebrate, Mrs. Dobrovolsky. I will see you at home. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon, Mr. Markovich. Um, can you spare a minute this afternoon? Mm-hmm. I'd like to treat you to lunch if you're free and discuss a tiny issue. Yes. Okay. 3 p.m. at Vittorio's. Mm-hmm. Okay, see you. It really is incredible how Silicat Bud will have a number of new clients and returning old ones. I must say I'm really looking forward to the work. Being the brand manager and the host of our TV show, I will spare no efforts in making sure our business grows. I'm very happy to hear that. However, taking into account my loyalty and my role as TV host for a new show, I'd like to have a share and a place as one of the board of directors. You're very active. Mm. But isn't what you have enough for you? Hmm? Yes, I have enough, but... Let me guess, you want more. Uh, Mr. Markovich, I think you've got this all wrong. Anna, let me give you some advice. Please don't try to bite off more than you can chew. This won't end well for you. Your little success with the show doesn't merit you one of the highest positions in the company. You've got a long way to go still. We will wait and see how your affairs develop. Excuse me, let me get this. Yes, I'm listening. Is it urgent? Yes, I got it. Excuse me, Rihuri, I have journalists waiting for me at the studio. Go ahead, you can go. I'll be right back. Excuse me. <laughs> My apologies again. <laughs> Anna, you have become an example of a smart, successful, not to mention beautiful woman in the industry. Please, would you tell our listeners what your secret is? <laughs> it's actually very simple. I just use the skills that come naturally to me. <laughs> and you made the director of a multi-million company fall in love with you. Could you tell us how you did that? <laughs> Dennis and I have known each other since we were students. We went to the same university. So I fell in love not with a millionaire, but with a good person. That's all wonderful. However, I've heard that your love hasn't been all smooth sailing. We heard from a source close to you that, in fact, there was a period of time where you and Dennis were not together. How long were you apart, and did you date other people? Mm -mm. I don't think that's something I want to discuss. Switch them off. There was one guy. He was making moves, but he had neither money 
nor talent, nor the aspiration to achieve anything. It was his opinion that his love would be enough to make me happy. Can you believe that? I see what you mean. A woman needs so much more than just affection. Then they get offended when a woman demands more from them. I bet you that man lives with regret now. But despite him being such a loser, he helped me realize the things that I really wanted and needed in life. What do you like in Dennis? Let's just put it this way. There are many men, and then there's Dennis. He's one of a kind. There's no one like him. <laughs> That's all I can say. What are you looking at? Are you envious? <laughs> I finally won. What did you think? That you were better than me? You're mistaken, my dear. Mistaken as always. You will never win this game.